What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkFiction.net, and yes, I still have a cold. What it is is that we've got a problem with Dreamweaver, the new Dreamweaver. Okay, let's uh, come over here, and we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And what we're, what the problem is, is this right here. Okay, the Dreamweaver Helper.exe. I have searched and searched and searched, and I cannot find any resolution to this issue. And what it is is that... For one, it starts you off with three Dreamweaver Heifer.exes. Okay, every tab that you open up opens up a brand new Dreamweaver Heifer.exe file. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's, um, let's make this to where it's always on top so we can keep an eye on it. And we're going to come over here. We're going to open up. I created a bunch of files inside of here. So I've got 17 files in here. So let's go ahead and select all these files. We're going to open them up. Now watch. As this Dreamweaver Heifer.exe recreates itself over and over again for every single tab that is opened. Okay, so we'll take a look at the memory usage for each one of these uh, working processes. And it's outrageous. Okay, whenever I woke up this morning the system was running hot and all of these were open i had i think it was nine tabs open i didn't have this many but i had nine tabs i mean i've worked inside dreamweaver before where i've had 20 and 30 tabs using the cs4 version and never once ever had an overheating issue on my system but to have this right here to have all these processes running and since there's not much inside these files, each one of these files only have this much information in it. This process right here for the Dreamweaver EXE itself is not that huge. However, with the files that I had open last night and I woke up to this morning, it was sitting at about 120 something K. So, I mean, that's right high, but I mean, no real big deal. I mean, I knew what to expect whenever I was working inside of the project that I was working on. However, all these equals to be over 200 megabytes so that's 200 megabytes of memory i mean i've got eight gigs sitting inside the system so right now my physical memory usage right now is 62 percent so if i get rid of all these that drops this down tremendously so what we're going to do is that we're going to do something let's go ahead and close out of this okay so we got rid of all them processes Okay, this right here is our Dreamweaver folder. So you will go inside of wherever you have yours installed at. I've got mine installed in H Drive. So you go inside of C, Program Files, and then Adobe CC, Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2014. Okay, right here is your Dream, Dreamweaver helper. Okay, let me show you something whenever we launch Dreamweaver. Whenever we first launch Dreamweaver, we get this splash screen right here okay this right here shows every single time that we launch dreamweaver what i'm assuming is that these are your helpers anything that uh, uh pops up that gives you information is your helper however how come it's got to have one for every single tab i can deal with three of them that's not a big deal but one for every tab that's sort of ridiculous okay so we're going to close out of that Make sure that everything's clutched. We're going to come over here to our Dreamweaver Helper.exe. We're going to F2, and then we're just going to add in a little squiggly mark. Okay, so that right there is not going to be able to be picked up by the Dreamweaver EXE. Therefore, it will not run. Now, you're going to lose this. Okay, so this right here is your Dreamweaver Helper. Okay, so your Dreamweaver Helper is not there now. So the only thing we've got is this. So now, whenever we come over here and we open up all these files, it just loads them. Okay. So the only thing that runs is these two right here, your Dreamweaver EXE and your DWM.exe. These are the only two that you see processes running from. You no longer see the Dreamweaver Helper.exe until... Adobe or somebody can come into the forums or maybe tag me on this one inside of Twitter or wherever and let us know exactly why the Dreamweaver Helper uh, K2 
calculates itself so many different times within our task manager and eats up our processes like that. I mean, having 8 gigs or 16 gigs or 32 gigs of memory doesn't matter what you have. If you've got a huge project and you've got many windows open or many tabs open within Dreamweaver, this right here is going to eat you alive. So that is my workaround. I don't need it because I don't use a lot of stuff. I'm like I said, I'm not really sure exactly what is all used with the Dreamweaver helper, but I don't use it as long as I can come over here and I can type and I can get in my code views. That is all I need. So I can do span style. Everything still shows up here like I need it. So this is not affected. So as long as it's not affected, it's not affecting me. Okay, Wayne Baron here with DarkFaction.net instead of Adobe Dreamweaver CC 2014.1. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.